Hi, this is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. In this video, you will learn how to make an origami ladybug. This is a figure of my own design. Make sure you visit our related blog post at OrigamiSpirit.com to learn about best papers to use. To make the ladybug, we need a triangle, different color on each side. If we have a square, we can cut it in half diagonally, and we will have paper for two ladybugs. If we begin with a square six by six inches, we end up with a ladybug about this size. For the demonstration, I will be using a bigger piece of paper. I have paper red on one side and white on the other side for the demonstration. The white corresponds to the black in this case. We begin with the main color of the body facing up. In this case, will be red. The antennae will be white. We fold in half vertically and fold. We bring the upper corner down to the central point and make a pinch mark at the center. Right there at the center. And also we are going to make pinch marks at the quarter distance and here at the quarter distance. Just a very short pinch mark. Unfold. We bring the lower edge to that central point make another pinch mark and again bring the lower edge up to that pinch mark and fold through. Turn it over. This short edge at the right we are going to bring it so it aligns with the vertical line and we create a fold about here. We bring this short edge to meet this one. At this point, we can turn it over and we can use a pen to make the markings. Not all ladybugs have markings, but we can add some. For the demonstration, I will continue with this unmarked one. Fold in half, rotate. We are going to bring this edge to match this, right from this point on. Now this short edge will coincide with this. Unfold. Notice the crease pattern. Unfold the flaps. And we are going to make a fold that uh, will be parallel to the central line. Uh, it will be about here. The beginning is between these two points and ends at the pinch mark we made before. This is going to be a mountain fold on this side, so we fold this to the back. And these two points, this point and this point, will coincide. Make the line all the way to the pinch mark, which is here, at the same level as this one. We make a fold connecting that point with this point. This very short edge will coincide with this. And for the moment we unfold. 
we repeat the process here vertical these two points coincide mountain and then we fold from this point the pinch mark to this point this short edge to match this outer edge. Unfold. Folding half along the central line. This is the center. We make a fold that begins right about midway between the center and the corner about here. The other guideline before we set the crease is that this angle should be 90 degrees. And unfold. Now we focus our attention on these corners. This and this. We're going to bisect this angle. Bring this short edge to match this. Hold it in the air and we're going to begin to collapse. So we are going to refold this central mountain fold. We have this little flap to fold over to the left. And we can fold all the flap over to the left. We fold along this mountain fold. Fold the small flap and we can fold all the flap over to the right. This is a mountain fold. Small flap over to the left and the whole flap over to the left. We have an existing crease along here. Bring the flap down along that crease. And here we have this angle. This is an obtuse angle. That angle is going to match the point where there is a change of color, right on this edge. And we set the crease. This edge also matches with itself. And we repeat here. Bring it down. This point matches this point. Now we fold to the back. The antennae will be standing up. rotate and we set this crease at the back so that we lock mountain fold valley fold we have this little triangular flap folded to the back it's going to be behind here we are going to blunt this corner making a fold along here just matching with this corner. Very tiny fold.
And the last thing that we want to do is just blunt this corner also. We can bring this corner to this inner corner or just any distance we want. And this is one made with red and black paper. Ladybugs are useful in the garden because they keep it free from pest insects. If you like what you find in this channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, visit our website at origamispirit.com. See you next time.